Hello everyone, this is Nishant here and today I'll be explaining the Formula E steering wheel. So starting off from the back of the steering wheel, we see a number of pedals. So starting from the top, we have first the fan boost pedal which is present at the extreme right. So this pedal, basically when the driver presses this pedal, you get extra boost of power so that you can overtake the car ahead. But it's the fan boost largely depends on uh, on the vote voting that the fans do so it's up to you guys to support support the drivers and then you have the uh, upshift pedal and the downshift pedal which does what the name says it the upshift pedal is used to shift up the gears and then downshift to shift down the gears and then at the bottom on the left hand side you can see there is another pedal that is the region pedal so uh, this is used to regenerate energy while the driver is not braking so it's a very cool sort of thing which I'll be explaining later on and now coming to the front of the steering wheel so uh, this is the front of the steering wheel of the Mahindra Racing and this is the layout which they used in last season so first starting off with the buttons first we have the radio button which is present on the left hand side and denoted in blue color this is used by a driver to talk with the engineers on the pit wall and then you have got on the right hand side a pit lane speed limiter button so pressing this button engages the pit lane speed limit so the driver does not uh, exceed the speed limit that is in the pits and then you have got number of buttons at the bottom so there is the dash button in the red color this is used by the drivers to scroll through number of sets of information on the screen and then you have got the marker button which is indicated in green this is used to mark a certain data which the driver sees on the steering wheel so that the engineer can then analyze it and then you have got a button in white color that is a neutral or reverse button so the neutral and reverse cannot be engaged using the upshift and the downshift paddle so they engage via the via this button and then you've got number of rotatories first we have the power rotatories uh, it basically allows the driver to select the power mode that is the how much amount of power to be deployed so we have got various modes like q denotes the qualifying mode during the qualifying you can get around 200 kilowatts of power so that is the maximum that can be deployed and then you've got a safety car mode where you get around 110 kilowatts so you conserve the power and then you got the fan boost mode this fan boost mode has to be used in conjunction with the pedal so first the driver has to bring the rotatory towards fan boost and then he has to press the pedal so the fan boost uh, also gives around 200 kilowatts of power and then the, you have got the number of race modes typically in race you get around 170 kilowatts of power and then if you use the fan boost you get around 30 kilowatts more that is 200 kilowatts of power and then you have got the multi rotatory uh, it is used to adjust various settings but uh, the important one is more laps and less lap setting which is denoted by l plus l minus so say if you have a 20 lap stint and you want to uh, calculate how much uh, energy how much energy will be used you use this rotatory so say you set it to 20 laps so it will give you the calculation per lap how much energy that is to be used so if you are say exceeding the amount of energy that is being used per lap you can then turn down uh, the power the power rotatory to a lower configuration setting so that you can conserve the power so that is the function of more laps and less laps and then you have got the region rotatory region rotatory basically controls the regeneration uh, from the brakes so you've got a number of numbers denoted like one two three four five six so they basically denote the amount that is regenerated so say in qualifying you want a more stable car so you set the region at one so that the car doesn't move so much at the back uh, but if you want more power more of the energy to be regenerated so use a higher setting so that's uh, about the buttons and rotatory and then you've got the led screen where you get multitude of information that you can scroll through and to scroll through the driver use, uses the dash button and above that you've got a, a number of gear shift indicator lights so they allow the driver to optimize the gear shift 
and then you have got two uh, two more lights which are FIA lights so they start to flash in case of a yellow flag or a safety car so that's basically about uh, that's basically it about the former former e racing car uh, steering wheel so hope you liked it uh, you can f you are free feel free to uh, comment in the comment section below and ask any doubts if you have any okay